Hello everyone, this is Lucas. Welcome back to another Java tutorial. Today we are going to be going over how we can sort an array. So I have an array created here. So we're going to sort this array in two different ways. So just like the old way of sorting it and then there's a brand new way of sorting it. The older way is fine, uh, completely fine. And it can come up during, um, during interview questions, if you're in interviewing for a job. It's a very popular question. So I'm going to go over two ways of doing it. Um, the, the first way is a bit longer, uh, but it is very important to know uh, how sorting works. And then the second way uh, I'll show you is the newer way of doing it, which is uh, so much easier. But we're going to start off with the, old, the older way. So we're going to create ourselves two for loops, so a nested for loop, just like we did when we were looking at, um, at multi-dimensional arrays. So we're going to do int i is equal to zero, then we're going to do i is less than the ages dot length. So just a normal, a normal for loop, we do i plus plus, just like this. So now we're going to press on the second one, but now in here, we're going to do int j, and instead of equal that to zero, we're going to do i plus one, or you can do one plus i, it's the exact same. Then what we're going to do this for the length of our Array ages. And then we're going to do J plus plus at the very end. Okay. So once we have ourselves the for loop, now I will explain why we did uh, I plus one instead of zero in a minute, but before that, we need to create ourselves a temp. Uh, and we're going to set this to zero. So we're just going to create ourselves a variable called temp, and we're going to set it to zero. Temp is only used just to store values. Uh, because the idea of sorting is we just swap values around. Now, so for example, let's say we targeted 55 and 12. We need to check which one is smaller. So if 12 is smaller, then all we have to do is just swap these two numbers around. So 55 goes to where 12 was, and 12 goes to where 55 was. But in order to do that, we need to create ourselves a temp uh, temp variable to do that. Uh, so now we're going to do the swap. So we're going to do if ages, then we're going to use i. If this is bigger than ages j, we're going to swap them around. So what this basically does is, so let's say um, on our first for loop, the one that has i, let's say during the first iteration. Uh, we targeted, so i is equal to zero, which means it's 55. It's the very first one. And then j is i, what, whatever i is, plus one, so the very next um, index of what i is. So i is 55, which means j is 12. And now we're checking if 55 is bigger than 12. So the reason why we're doing this is because we want the smallest number, because we're starting, we, we want the smallest number to start at the very start. And then we want uh, the biggest number to be on the on the very right. But we work with we work with the first uh, index of the array first, and then we just move on uh, to the rest of them. So what we do here is we check if this is bigger than 12. And if it is bigger than 12, then all we do is we swap these two numbers around. The way we do that is we firstly we use our temp and we set this to whatever the first index is, so 55. So we'll, we will set that to age is i because age is i is zero, which is the very first index. So now temp is 55. All, uh, all we're doing in temp is we're just storing this value because we just need to store this value. And now what we do is we set this value 55, so we do ages i, and we equal that to 12. So we equal ages j. And then what we do is we do ages uh, j, and we're going to equal this to the temp that we have right here. Oops. So we go uh, temp, and this becomes, uh, oops, I need this, just like this. And this is literally it done. This is how you start um, an array. So I will go over how everything works. It is very important to, to know how this works. So let's just take the first iteration, for example. During the first iteration of this for loop, we are targeting 
this index here. We want this to be the smallest number in our whole array because we're sorting it from smallest to biggest. So i is equal to zero, so, so zero is the very first index, which is 55. And now we have our second for loop, which is just the next index of this. So it's gonna be 12. So now we have these two targeted. We have 55 and 12. Then we set ourselves a temp, which we might need or we might not need, depends. Uh, but now we check if if this value here is bigger than this. Now, if it is bigger, then we want to make sure that the smaller number goes to the very start. So what we do here is we set this value. So now this is only if it's the bigger number. If this number is bigger than this, if it's not, then uh, we don't use this if uh, statement because we don't need to. But let's just say if this, uh, let's say in the first iteration, 55 is bigger than 12. What we do is we set 55 as the temp, so we just store the value 12. Okay, I will do this. So let's say we have 55 and then we have 12 as index 0 and index 1. We store 55 in temp. And then what we do is we get ages i. So we get this index here and we set it as 12. So when this gets executed, the, uh, the array is now looking like this. All right. Imagine this does not exist. This is how our array is looking after we do this. But because we started 55 in temp, we can now set 12 as the value that we started in temp, which is 55. So this is what we're doing here. We are getting ages j, which is uh, 12, this value here, and we're storing it in whatever we started in the temp, which was 55. So now when this line gets executed, this now, instead of 12 being here, we set it to the temp, which is 55, and now this is how our array is looking now at the moment. This becomes 12, and this becomes 55. Now this for loop will check all of these remaining numbers and it will, it will check if all of these numbers are less than 55. So for example, in the next iteration of this for loop, we're, we are going to check if 64 is smaller, uh, sorry, is bigger, um, no, it's gonna check if this value is smaller than this value here, 12. If if it is smaller, then we will swap it out. But if it's not smaller, so this is bigger than 12, this condition here will be false, so we will skip this value. Then we'll do 44. And now when we get to two, we'll check, okay, 12. Okay, so 12, this is now 12. We're, we're checking if 12 is bigger than two. So it is bigger than two, which means we need to swap 12 with two. So now we swap them around, we start 12 as temp, then we set 12 as j, so it's two, so now this becomes two. And then when we do this, we swap the two with the 12 that we had started in here. So now our array is looking like this. It's looking like two, 55 that we have here. We have then 64, we have 44, now in here we have 12, then we have 90 and then we have 22. So we just, all we did was we swapped this number with whatever number we had in here, which we had 12 at the time. And then it's gonna check the following two numbers. And then once this is complete, this is how the array is looking now. We have the, we have the smallest number at the very start. Now, then once we go through all of these indexes, this for loop will finish and then we'll move on to the, the next value. So now we're going to be checking um, the value for this. We're going to make sure that this value here is the smallest uh, number, so uh, which is 55 for us. So now we're going to do the same thing. This value is sorted. We don't need to touch this anymore. So now what we do is we have 55 targeted in this for loop. And now this for loop here is going to target all of these here. So it's going to go through this one to check if it's a uh, smaller, okay, it's not smaller, this 64 is bigger, 44 is smaller, which means we're gonna just swap them out. So this here will become 
44 and this value here will become 55 and then we're, we're going to check again but then we're checking so this is done now we're going to check 12 we're going to check if 12 is smaller than 44 because it is smaller we're going to just swap them around so 44 becomes 12 and 12 becomes 44 and now we're going to check 90 we're going to check if 90 is smaller than 12 it's not and then we're going to check if 22 is smaller than 12 it's not and then that's the first two finished. And now we're gonna move on to the third one. But you, you can see that the first two have been sorted. This is the smallest number in the array, and then this is the second smallest number inside of this array. And then we're just gonna continue doing the rest for the remaining number, and then we'll get uh, a sorted loop. So now I can print out. We can print out, I think we can just print out I actually. Uh, no, yeah, we'll have to print out R I, like this. Uh, not R, uh, the name of our array. If we print this out, you can see we get ourselves a nice sorted uh, array. So you can see the first two values is 2 and 12, which we have here, 2 and 12. And then it, we didn't finish uh, this off manually. We just let the code run. And you can see sorted out all the numbers inside of this array uh, from the smallest to biggest. So this is one way of doing it. Now there are uh, there is a bit of an easier way to do this. This can... This question probably will, um, more than likely, it will come up in an interview question. So it's very uh, important to uh, note this down on how uh, on how to do it. And also the most important, you kind of need to know how it works. It's 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 simple just to copy code, but you, you have to understand how it works. So I hope this I hope this part of the video helped you to understand how we can sort the array, like how it works and also how to do it. But now we're gonna we're gonna simplify this a lot. So let's get rid of all this. We don't need any of this. We're just gonna keep the array that we wanna sort. It's this array that we wanna sort. First thing we need to import a few classes that we need. So for this we will need to import ourselves uh, two classes. Um, uh, actually for the first part we'll only need to import one. So we're gonna import java.util and then we're gonna import the arrays class. Now, for the people, I didn't actually go over this, so for the people that don't know what this is, uh, by default, um, Java only has a couple of classes available because not everyone needs to use um, all the resources available for a, a project. So you only add in uh, resources that you need um, by importing them. So for for example, if we, if we are writing some program, and if we don't use uh, the java.util arrays, there's no need to import it because it's just a bit of excessive uh, loads on the whole uh, program. But let's say if we do need it, we, we, we can just import it. So in this case, we, we do need it. So we're going to import the ar arrays class from uh, java.util. Um, now, there are a lot of classes available in java.util. Um, this is just to import one class. But let's say if you let's say if you want to import everything that is inside of here, we can just do instead of arrays, we we'll just do a star. What a star means is all. So we're we're gonna import everything from here. But for the moment, we'll just do arrays. Now let's say we just want to sort this array. So firstly, I'm gonna actually just print out the array. And the way we can print the array instead of using the for loop tr uh, to um to print out every single value, we're going to use something else. In instead of this, we're going to use the class that we imported, the arrays, and we're just going to do arrays. So we're going to call that. So we're going to do arrays, the name of the class. Then we're, we're going to call a method that is inside of this class. So we're going to do dot to shrink. Now in here, we're going to add in the name of our array, ages. All this will do is it will print out our array as a shrink. So if we run this, let's see we get our array um, printed out as uh, just as a shrink, just like that. So it just saves us doing the, the for loop. There's no need to do, to do the for loop to print out everything. So that's the first part uh, that I want to show you is about the arrays, but now we're gonna go into sorting uh, the array. And there's a very simple, uh, very simple line of code that we can use. So we're gonna call the this class again, the arrays class, arrays. And now we're gonna do 
this you just sort like this. And what this will do is this this will sort any array that we pass in as a parameter. So we're going to do ages, we're going to pass it in here, and this will sort this array. So now if I print out this same array after we sort it, you can see this was the original one. Now when we sorted it, this is how we sort it right here. So you can see it simplifies it a lot just by doing the arrays.sort. Make sure you import it. If if you don't import it, um, you get an error, but then if you uh, if you hover over it, you, there'll be a button just to import it. It's very easy. But if you want to import it manually, you, you, you can just try import java.util.arrays. Now, there are a couple other things that we can do. So for example, let's say if you want to uh, just sort certain indexes inside of this array. What we'll do is we'll just do comma and then we'll specify uh, what indexes we want to uh, sort. So let's pass in the value one and we'll do five. So now these are like the this is so this is the very first index that we, we that we want to sort, which is twelve. No, sorry, it's the it's index one, which is the second uh, value. And then this is five, which is the fourth one uh, here. This one right here. All right, so what this will do is it will just sort 12, 64, 44, and two. So we're just gonna sort these. So from one, so this is one, and this is uh, five. But this is four, but it's like from one to five. So it's just these values here. Now, if we run this, you can see, so this is the, or this is the original. We don't wanna sort the first one, because we are sorting uh, index one, which is uh, this one here. So we're only going to sort these four values here. So you can see four of these values have changed, but the rest haven't because we we didn't sort them. We just sorted uh, these four, so one to five. And the very last thing that I'm going to show you is, um, is by using this other one. So we're, we're going to import Java dot util dot collections like this okay so you can see that we have uh, two classes imported we have arrays and then we have collections let's say you you don't want to write all this you just want to import everything from java util instead of writing this twice for ju just for this example you shouldn't do this but we're just going to import everything so start so we're going to import everything from here now Let's say we don't want to sort this uh, from smallest to biggest. Let's say we, we, we want to uh, sort this from uh, the biggest to the smallest. So in reverse order. First thing that we need to do is we need to change this to an integer. Okay. So now we have an array of integers. Now in here, what we're going to pass in is collections dot, dot reverse order. And all this is going to do is we're going to sort using the arrays uh, class. We're going to sort this integer array here, but we're going to sort it in reverse order. So if we run this, you can see everything now is sorted in reverse order. So it's from biggest to smallest. Um, if you don't do this, it'll be smallest to biggest. Now, the very last thing is instead of using strings, what we're going to use now is we're going to use, uh, uh, sorry, instead of using integers, we're going to use strings. So, so I have a string array. Uh, let's change this to, instead of ages, let's do names. Then I'm going to pass in a few values here, like Bob, uh, Peter, and then we'll just pass in uh, Adam. First, let's get rid of all this. Then we don't need any of this. So let's say we want to sort the array of strings. And let's say we want to sort it by alphabetical order. So let's say we have B, we have P, and we have A. So we want to sort it. So Adam is first, Bob is second, and Peter is third. So all of these are going to be getting uh, moved around. Now, the way we'll do this is the exact same way. We'll do arrays.sort, and we will add in names in here. And if we print this out, if we print out, um, if I print out arrays, so we'll do arrays dot 
to shrink and then we'll pass in names in here. See, whenever I run this, the, it gets changed from, so Bob was first pronounced Adam because A is a very, uh, is before B in the alphabet. And then we, so we go Adam, Bob, and we go Peter. So that's how we can sort an array um, integers with shrinks the old way. Uh, now the old ways is still very important. I'm not too sure if if in interview questions you can do arrays that sort. If you can do arrays that sort, but if you want to show off a bit, you can probably just do it the old original way because it it kind of shows that you understand how it works. Because if you just do arrays that sort, you might not understand how uh, how the how it actually sorts the array. So yeah, so that's basically it on how to sort and write. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it was a bit long, but I'll see you in the next one.